Okay, so I wanted to show you how I enter zeros. So this is my gray book, and I'm just going to go into an assignment, and I'm going to hit grade all. Okay, now you can um, uh, sort it by section if you want. So if there's like, say this is, you know, a due date and only 18 week students had to turn this in. So I'll sort this by just 18 week students. Okay, and let's say that this student, this student, and this student did not turn in the assignment and it's Thursday morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit set grade and I'm going to put a zero here and it'll put a zero right there and then if I want to add feedback I can go and um, if I've already uploaded like the late stamp or whatever into that I can go ahead and upload that late stamp like that and it'll give all of them the late stamp and what I do is I'll go ahead and copy this um, that way when I go to enter the zeros for the next assignment I can just paste it and I don't have to go through you know looking for it in here I can just paste it and it's already in there so then I'll hit save and then um, those kids you know have that assignment have that feedback there and then um, you can also grade the assess assignment from here I don't grade assignments that often from here but I do grade like um, discussions from here and there'll be a little thing and there's like a rubric and um, I think maybe you saw that in the other video I made and then what you can do is if you've got you know like for like say a quiz and you've got like a variety of grades you can sort by grade and then you can give like you know these three kit these five kids made a 95 on there you could give your you know if you had a specific feedback for 95s you know or like you know really high grades you could put that you know add the feedback for that if you had you know and and let's say these two kids made like a 50 you could put your feedback for students that had 50s in there so that's really handy but it's it's especially handy if, I'm gonna just delete these because I don't want to accidentally leave them in there and these are good students and I don't want them to think that they got zeros um, but you know that this is an easy way to enter zeros um, on um, on Thursday, and then I'm gonna hit cancel just in case to make sure it didn't save. Oh yeah, I'll hit save it. Okay, and then you can also go like more actions here, hide show columns, and only show the columns of the things that are due that week. That way you don't have like tons and tons of assignments in there. Um, to kind of scroll through see I have where it's just stuff that's due this week in here that way I don't have a ton of stuff to scroll through um, so like let's say this week um, a 14 week students I think they have to take this test so let's say these two kids don't take this test then I can go in there and just like I just showed you and I can um, I'd have to go to 14 week, right? Because 18 weeks has already done it. 18 week has already done it. And then, I, you know, if they don't do it, I can just hit that. I can do set grade as a zero and then put my feedback stamp in there. It's also helpful, like, let's say here, if you've got a bunch of students, you know, you've maybe got some reduced coursework for students, you can go through here. Let's say these students have re reduced coursework. And they don't have to do this assignment. You could put an exempt here, and it would automatically exempt it. Okay, um, these show no feedback right here because I've already put their feedback um, in the individual like submission attempt, so that's why it's not showing any feedback here. But um, if you had like a specific feedback, like for example for discussions, if you wanted to put something like this is how to view your rubric, and you know like a a video or a picture or something you might want to put that there that way they knew how to um, you know everyone would get that the only thing is it will give it to the students that haven't done the assignment yet so that's the only thing about um, that overall feedback so hopefully um, this was helpful to you um, and that is a little easier way 
to enter your zeros on um, at the on Thursdays.